Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Quarantine Talk. I'm out here trying to get some daylight while there still is some because I was sitting indoors for too many days in a row. Uh, and it's nice to get some sun, even if it is setting. So today I thought I would give out a free tip for uh, increasing your programming skill. So uh, it's about bug understanding or bug modeling or, or I don't know exactly what to call it but basically this thing that happens when you're working on fixing a bug and you get to the point where you have a bug fix uh, and then uh, what a lot of people do then is they make the bug fix uh, and they be on their way and maybe they make the bug fix and even add a unit test and be on their way uh, you know that's uh, one good boy point for you but uh, what most people don't do is go all the way and really understand the bug um, to the fullest extent possible. And uh, this can be very time consuming. So I'm, I'm not saying do this for every bug ever, but uh, it is, I find that it's a very valuable exercise to uh, occasionally go through that you, you spend the time to understand a bug uh, as well as you aim to understand your program when it's operating correctly. And um, in the last couple of months, I've been doing these occasional uh, exploit development videos about Serenity, right? Where I, I find some bug in the system, and then uh, instead of just fixing the bug, I also go through the process of exploiting the bug to give myself, you know, illegal privileges or whatever on the system. And... In going through that process, it gives me a much better understanding of the bug, like because I build a, a complete model of it in my head rather than just the um, sort of, um, an, I, I guess I would call it an incomplete model or, or sort of an approximate model that you're normally working with when it comes to bugs. Because, at least for me, the way that I think of a program is I have a model of it in my head, right? And a bug is a defect on that model but it's not part of the model. Um, and with defects, you sort of want to scrub them out and um, be rid of them. But when you're coming at this from the perspective of um, something like a penetration tester, right, like an exploit developer, then um, the bug is the feature from your point of view. So um, I find that, that when I've been doing these exploits, uh, it really helps me build this sort of mirror reality um, model of my programs. And it's really, really helpful in understanding them, not only when they have a bad behavior, but also when they have a good behavior, because you're strengthening your model of the program um, by understanding it better when it's misbehaving. And I think this is something that, that anyone can do who's programming, is... Um, when you have a bug and you think you have a fix for it, stop and see if you really, really understand what the bug really is. Like, based on your understanding of the bug, can you make the program misbehave in a predictable way? Uh, because if you can't, then you might not really be understanding the bug. And this is, of course, um, you might not want to make exploits for your own code, but um, the closest thing to an exploit is a unit test, right? Like a really comprehensive unit test. And I, I, I recognize that I need to get better about adding more unit tests to Serenity um, because going through the motions of writing a unit test, like a really good unit test, is very similar to going through the motions of writing an exploit because you, you want to find all of those edge cases and exercise them. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, this is a very time-consuming thing, so you might not want to do it for every bug, but I think it's a fantastic exercise to go through um, every now and then, to take one of your bugs and um, make it misbehave in a controlled way, because um, it very often seems to surprise, at least surprises me, um, what the misbehavior really is. Um, and there are a lot of subtleties that you can miss out on if you just, you know, put the bug fix on there and, and 
uh, move on to the next thing. Anyways, <laughs> this is just, just something I was thinking about today. And um, I think a lot, of, a lot of people can really level up by doing this. I, I really feel like I've been leveling up by doing this. So I just want to recommend it to everybody. So um, that's, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for listening to it. And maybe you'll consider trying it. And I will see you next time. Bye.